50 years since the club won the Scottish Cup on the 1st of May 1971. Congratulations to everybody that was involved, the uh, team and coaches alike. Uh, we hope to celebrate in a better fashion later in the year with a sportsman's dinner. In the meantime, uh, congratulations to everybody. Work it on, baby. Thanks for obviously you've been training and thanks for staying behind and thanks to everybody else for coming along. Uh, 50 years ago marks this wonderful achievement that the club was presented with the Scottish Cup at Bog Head the 1st of May 1971. Uh, through the look of it most of you were not born, um, some of you were probably at school, others were playing. Um, for the historians, the Erskine Bridge wasn't built. It was just to be opened in a few months after that, actually. Edward Heath was the Prime Minister, Ian McDuff was the Provost. Those that are, take that. Enthusiast Gary Barlow was born. Double Barrel was number one in the then hit parade. The Duke of Edinburgh was 50. And decimal currency just came into circulation, so that's how long ago it is 50 years. So, our success that day and the seasons that followed laid a strong platform for the Barton Academy. We all agree that that was a contributory factor to the success that we've achieved over those 50 years. And we're here today obviously to celebrate that success, but importantly, we want to make sure that the club goes forward for the next 50 years and so on. The two gentlemen in particular are here today represent that historical day. Billy Muir, the captain, on the day, and Barney Kennedy, uh, part of the backroom staff, and as he just told me, looked after the academy playing fields throughout that season. And the story is that Bobby Chalmers, the manager, insisted that every game at home get played. A wee bit like Michael Dickey this season, so we might travel to Astra Tufts and what have you. But this hallowed ground here is usually playable. And 50 years ago in that season, Barney made sure that it was. I think, importantly, though that we're celebrating, we are marking the occasion about the boys that are here, a new sweaty lot that have just come after a training session. We as a club know that you have the ability and the talent and the attitude to take the club forward. And the success over the past few years under the guidance of Michael and Mark and Robert and Darren and Phil and Robert and everybody behind the scenes has shown us that we're going in the right direction and obviously we want to make sure that that continues. So firstly, I'm going to present something to Barney Kennedy. It's a small memento of the occasion 50 years ago it's a signed copy of the actual team line with every player an address and it's signed by Barney's long life friend, the manager Bobby Chalmers. So on behalf of the club, please accept that Barney. Thank you very much David. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Um, as you've seen on Facebook, we've got a Bolo made up, Scottish Amateur Cup winners 1971. I'd like club captain Jack Buchanan to present that to Billy Muir. I'll hold that in the I'd also like to present this team photograph. Although this photograph was taken down at the playing fields. Uh, there wasn't actually a, a team photograph taken on that day in 1971, but every single, it's the exact same team and all the backroom staff, and I hope Billy likes it, it'll go up. There's a photograph of Billy lifting the cup up in the gym, and it'll go up beside that. I hope you like it, Billy. Super. <laughs> Well, 
50 years ago. I think that's the first thing that you've got to look at and say, uh, the memories of that day just seem to fly by. The, 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 the academy scored the goal, you've read all about it early on, and then it was a dig in. There weren't any mugs by any any means, but the fact was, it was the Black Academy FPs they were playing. We knew we could win it being a fourth division side. They thought they had won it being a first division side. And that's always something you should always remember. The spirit at this club will never wane. Doesn't matter who's playing, who we're playing, you've always got the jersey on and want to do the best for the club. And that day, we brought success to this area like no other, and it was terrific to be the captain of that team. Wouldn't it matter, the teammates that I had that day were all capable of doing the business. The only thing that puts a downer on me a wee bit is I've lost some of the team. And you can't get that back. You can't get it back. But in saying that, keep the memories going. We're due doing something big again. In 2011, we're centenary. We won the West of Scotland Cup. And the McGilvery lifted that one. You guys could lift something.